Hi everyone, I'm August from the Truckit team and today I'd like to take you on a tour of the AWS WAF service. WAF stands for Web Application Firewall. And now you know that, let's get started. First of all, what is a WAF? WAF is a very helpful tool that secures your website or your web application. It's really going to play the role of a guard, a nightclub bouncer or a security guard, filtering the people who have the right to access your project, detecting suspicious or disturbing behavior. And even if you have been able to access the application, he will also check that you're not doing anything foolish inside. And if you behave improperly, he will take you out, he will remember you, and in the future, if you try to come back, he will block you immediately. Honestly, the image of a nightclub bouncer really does represent a WAF. And in fact, that's all. It secures your site, blocks access to malicious people if necessary, and kicks people out if they behave badly. Today, to show you an example of how to put this into practice, the Tracket team and I have prepared a demonstration of the AWS Web Application Firewall service. First, we have two websites. Visually, they look identical, but you will see that they do have some difference. The first one is hosted locally, as you can see on the localhost 3000, and has no firewall in place. The second one is hosted on AWS, and we have configured an AWS WAF on it, which will protect it from the vulnerabilities I'm about to present. In this video, we are going to focus on two vulnerabilities that can be found in a login page. The first one is cross-site scrapping or XSS. This occurs when attackers inject malicious scripts into trusted websites, enabling them to steal cookies, session tokens, or other sensitive information. These attacks won't bypass the login page, but it aims to take the control of the website. But don't worry, if you didn't quite understand what it was, I will show you an example right away. Basically, on the non-secure websites, if I enter a HTML tag on the email field, I will be able to take the control of the website, which is not normal. As you can imagine, a user shouldn't be able to inject code so easily into our site. But actually, it's possible. Please take a good look. Here, I'm entering a HTML tag, which if I were developing my website in a development environment, would allow me to display a pop-up alert at the top of the screen when authentication is refused. Here, of course, it's not a development environment but I'm putting a random password to make sure authentication is refused. And as you can see, the pop-up was indeed displayed with our personal message, in this case, Aket. And that's basically what the XSS vulnerability is. The ability to do whatever the attackers want with your application frontend. And therefore, the potential possibilities of having information stolen, which no website wants. The second vulnerability we are going to look at is SQL injection. This is a technique whereby attackers manipulate a website database by inserting a harmful SQL code into input field. In much the same way as we have just done, we are going to write something into the email field, except that this time it's going to enable us to bypass the login page and access to the website backend. To do this, it's very easy. We enter a SQL injection in the email field and a false password. We press the sign in button and here we are. We successfully logged in and bypassed the login page without actually having an account. These two vulnerabilities are very well known and are probably among the first thing a hacker would try if he wanted to hack your website. For any website, this kind of failure is obviously very disturbing. So you need to find a solution and that's why WAF exists. Let's take a look at how the WAF on our AWS hosted website will react. Before carrying out the same vulnerability test, let me remind you that we're using AWS WAF to protect the website, and thanks to the AWS console, we will be able to get a lot of information about it. The most important information we see on the screen is that our site is protected by two rules. One concern, SQL injection, and the other, XSS vulnerabilities. On setup, the AWS console will function as a dashboard where you can get information about your WAF, such as traffic measurement on your site. Here, you can see that the firewall has 70 requests, block five attempts and hello 75. Now you have seen what the WAF looks like from the AWS console, let's run the same test as before. As you can see, I deliberately entered the wrong email and password and we got an error. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now let's try the XSS attack again. If as before we put our HTML tag into the email field with a false password, this time we get a 403 error. It's really interesting. We can then go back to the AWS console and see the details of how the WAF rules block the access. And that's perfect because we can see that the attackers has been blocked. Now let's try the second attack with the SQL injection. As before, we fill in the email and password feed with what we need to carry out our attack. And once again, we are blocked by the WAF rules and get a 403 error. We can go to the AWS console and once again analyze the details of the malicious request which has been blocked by the 
create a firewall. If you wish, you can even go to CloudWatch, another AWS service, and link it to your WAF and set the parameters you want to analyze. In particular, it will provide a log of all attacks attempts, but it could also provide a whole host of other data. All of this could of course be mixed with some Lambda function to export the data and create customized dashboard for your company, where you'll be able to analyze the data much more easily. I've demonstrated two vulnerabilities that a WAF can block, but it can also block many other things, such as RFE, LFE, DDoS attacks, XML injection, and many more. Don't forget that a WAF does doesn't prevent all the security breach, and the best thing is to have good quality code that can prevent the vulnerability. AWAF is more like a second layer of security. It allows you to protect your site while at the same time being able to analyze this protection and above all maintain the integrity of your data and that of your customers. Don't hesitate to contact TrackIt if you'd like to find out more about how AWS WAF can protect your website. The TrackIt team and I hope you enjoyed the demo. Please don't hesitate to like, to subscribe, and if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer in the comments. See you later.